Hello, my name is Ronnie, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so this episode, I'm going to be talking about what is in my suitcase for a two-week trip to Ireland, Ireland for my honeymoon. So, as some of you follow me on social media, you know that I have a 24-hour layover in Copenhagen, which that will be a totally different video. And we're also going to a Republic of Ireland as well as Northern Ireland, which are two completely different countries. So, let's get started. So, first off, I'll show you what's in it a little bit. Okay, now, these, so right here on this little, like, uh, okay, right here on this, like, little wall part, I don't know what you call it, are going to be my shoes. So I'm packing my tall Dr. Martin boots because they are so much better than rain boots. And it's going to be really rainy when we go. So don't get rain boots anymore because I've tried every type of rain boot in the book and they get trashed within less than a year. So definitely recommend these and an awesome tip to help you save room, put your socks inside your shoes. It helps you save so much room in your suitcase. Let's see. Next. <clears throat> I have a pair of um I have a pair of um, foldable flats. Like, these are my favorite flats. And believe it or not, they got, I got them at Walmart for like eight bucks. And they're like the super flexible kind. And these are freaking still. Well, so on this trip, I'm not packing, um, I never bring heels to Europe because of the cobblestone roads. They'll get totally trashed. I learned that the hard way. In where was I? I want to say it was either Italy or or was it Greece? Oh well. Okay, my other shoes I'm packing are just my regular sneakers because we're gonna be going on some hikes. And these are just generic workout sneakers from Amazon. And here's a little laundry bag. Because you don't want to mix your clean clothes with your yucky, dirty clothes. Alright. Snap. And snap. Okay. So what's in this little pouch right here? Ugh. Yeah, what's in this like little pouch right here is just random items. I have all my extra masks. I have like a bathtub pillow if I want to just relax my my head. Um, pack some locks when you go to Europe. There are so many lock bridges. These are like cheap ones from Dollar Store, which actually are pretty good. So these ones are for. Belfast in Dublin. Let's see, extra mass. Oh, an empty bottle with um, a, like a zip baggie, so I can put a little bit of um, sand or soil from Ireland, and then I'm going to put that in one of those little um, heart-shaped containers that say honeymoon on it. Little token. So you have my belt in there, my slippers are in here, my bride slippers. Oh, an extra beanie. And like a clutch purse that says good vibes, high times. 
so my wristlet, the reason why I carry, I bring a wristlet with me almost to most of my trips is because, like, what if you just, you don't want to carry your entire purse, and you just want to go to the bar there at the, um, hotel, so, here you go, this is, like, a cheap one I got at Ross for, like, five dollars, and it has, like, the credit card slots inside, I don't know if you can see that very well. Oh, it has this extra little back pouch. But yeah, just toss your phone, toss your chapstick, toss your passport, and some cards, whatnot, you're good to go. Okay, now on to the main part. Oh yeah, I'm drinking. I don't know if you can see it. Um, this stuff is amazing. It's by Golden Road. They're located in LA and um, Sacramento. This is the mango cart. It is so good, especially if you make a michelada with it. Yum. Okay, so I just came to discover these. So, remember how I was in my um, 24 hour trip packing? I was totally raving about the um, packing cubes. Well, we don't know her anymore. Like, she was two years ago. Like, she's bye-bye. She's in the retirement home. Because I've discovered these on Amazon. Well, YouTube originally on Amazon. These are the um, travel compression bags. Like, vacuum seal. You don't need a vac, no vacuum needed. All you do is put your clothes in there and you just roll it up and it, you wait, you zip it up, then you roll it up and it airs everything out. Like, I feel like this is going to be a hit. I will definitely let you know in one of my videos in the next few weeks or in a few days because I'll be vlogging my trip. So what's in this one is my gym clothes, my honeymoon lingerie, my regular bra and panties, and oh, and some gym clothes I think I mentioned because I always pack like maybe two, three gym out little gym outfits because we go on a hike or like if the um, hotel has a gym. So these are my main clothes right here in this other packing, not packing cube, airtight bag. I just packed a, I just, so for two weeks, make sure the number one thing that you do before you pack is look at the weather, obviously. Number two is look at, see if your Airbnb or hotel has a laundry facility. So then you can know how much to pack. So I pack two of everything. Like there's a pair, of, there's jean, two jeans, two flannels, two thick sweaters in here. And I believe that's one t-shirt. Look how vacuum packed that is. Like, I highly recommend these. Like, so far. We'll see how she holds up. And the next thing I have is a round brush. So I can, since I don't travel with, most of the time you don't really need travel with your um, hair dryer. So just pack a round brush to help you dry your hair out faster. This hair, it's not just a brush. A round hair brush, but yeah. Can I say hair dryer? Oh well, anyway. This is not just a brush. As you can see, it's a secret compartment. So if you want to hide, like, since I don't really trust, like, those hotel safes, you can hide your jewelry in here or, like, some extra cash. And I have a tripod. It's one of those bendy ones. For, that's, we, or that's like perfect for traveling so I can vlog for you and I'm not going to take this 
camera with me. I'm going to be taking my phone camera. Well, my phone. So I'll be vlogging. And, okay, this is awesome. I 100% recommend this. If you travel as much as I do, look what I found. This is a two-in-one um, straightener and curling iron. Curling one. It locks up. It came with this little case. So I'm going to have to probably do this after the video because it was kind of complicated to put back in. But see, look, it's waved. Because I cannot curl my hair with a regular straightener for some reason. This helps you a lot. See, it's like all waved. It straightens and it does the curling. I 1% recommend this. Like I was experimenting with it a few times this week when it came in. Love it. Like, I think I might just order another one to replace all of my curling wands and flat iron with. It's that good. Let's see what else I have. Oh, another thing you should look up too when you travel is if wherever you travel, you know how in California they do the um, plastic tax for like plastic bags and whatnot? So, some parts of Europe they do that but as well as a paper tax so just from the dollar tree pack some extra pocket tissues and an extra baby wipe Let's see. Oh. and this is like my little travel ring light i love using this for to help me put my makeup on or vlogging <laughs> i'm sorry Okay, another airtight seal bag. This is all what I call my little emergency random kit. And what is inside here is, let me open it. Okay. You'll see, this would be a good example to show you. See, it's all skin, like sealed in. Pop this weasel, weasel, this pop, pop, pop. So, here's like, since it's two weeks, those little airline reusable, like, reusable fillable bottles are not going to be enough for my hair shampoo, sis. I'm sorry, but, well, these are half um, full, so perfect. You fill up your regular size, but as well as bring the half full bottle of my shampoo, conditioner, and my hair mask, and um, hairspray. Because... Seriously, that little ball of hairspray, you're lucky if it lasts three days. And my tanning lotion, I'm definitely packing another tanning lotion because I use the Jurgens Natural Glow that is amazing. Let's see what else is in here. Um, an eyeglass kit in case my sunglasses break. Some scotch tape and super glue. And in this other baggie are all my vitamins. So, I call this my little vitamin kit because this is why my little, like, part of a trip, like two weeks or even a week, those vitamin little containers that say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, they barely carry enough vitamins for, like, long trips. And I take some of those giant um pills that are like that that big so what i do and i showed you this in my other travel video was to separate them in these little snack bags these ones are from the dollar store like i personally like the taller ones versus the long ones and then you separate another one with the night vitamins existed. Hold on. Ooh. 
So, this toiletry bag carries my whole world. It's from Amazon. I love it. And it's pink, of course. And so, when you open it, it see? I might have to stand up to show you it all. Yeah, it has four compartments. Like, it has these two little compartments for, like, Q-tips, hair accessories, and then you can put your makeup and whatnot in this one. The reason why I don't have my makeup on here is I'm going to do another video tomorrow, hopefully. And it's going to be what's in my carry-on. But, see, you put your makeup... These are all my little toiletry bottles. Like, I recommend these rubbery toiletry bottles because they don't explode. They're, like, shaped all weird, but whatever. You get the little mesh um, pouch, too. And then in this one's just my little shading kit. Uh, and just when you thought this toiletry bag couldn't get any better... Remember that front pocket? I thought it was a pocket, but check this out. Oh, yeah. Let me put those in there. Bam. See? See, this would be more recommendable for your makeup because it has a makeup brushes compartment. And then you can put your makeup here. But I use this for my jewelry. So this literally fills not just your toiletries, but also your... Let's see, toiletries, your jewelry, your freaking um, makeup. This is literally your whole world. And I believe that is it. And again, I just got my hair dyed, so I'm not blonde anymore. So happy to be dark again. And again, I'm sorry for not wearing makeup because I had a chemical pill. You cannot wear makeup for like two days straight if you had a chemical pill. But thank you for watching my video and I am going to film my next video, hopefully tomorrow if I have time, for the what's in my carry-on bag. So thank you for watching and please subscribe, please like, positive comments, etc, etc. Bye!